Hallelujah. How's it going? My name is Blessius, and today I got something in the mail that you might want to see. Ugh, this big box. Trust me, you might like what's inside it, but first, I need my handy dandy. A butter knife. It's great to open packages with. All right. I can see they are very delicate with this package. By very delicate, I mean, you can see how much they just threw it. <laughs> this just around. All right. Opening this up. And we got plenty of this stuff. Does anyone need any air packages? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. We got ourselves, bum ba da da, the brand new PS4 Pro. So let's just open this baby up and see how this thing handles. Opening up so far. See, I don't have a gaming computer. Uh, I I uh, edit uh, videos on my Mac, so I am very much a big cult a console guy because normally video games, I mean PC games don't work. Like I can't play Overwatch on my Mac. If I did though, though that'd be what's up. We need to take this out. Okay, that was a little bit harder than you thought. All right, so here is the actual good box over here. And you can hear things rattling around. But up top, opening this thing up, we got ourselves a quick start guide. And then we got ourselves, oh, I don't know what's going first. There's a little pocket over here. We go into the pocket. We got power cords. And this is interesting because uh, I believe that is a different uh, socket than what is actually in like the regular PS4. This is more for like what you use for like monitors and uh, PCs. That, that's interesting that that's how they're doing power. In here we have the headphone connector, like the the mono ear piece. Hey, uh, I mean I'll take it. And then we have oh controller plug. That's what's up. I need that. Actually, I really do need that because it also works for my Android phone. All right, so is that everything in here? Oh, we got one more thing in here. There's a secret compartment in here. How do we access it? Oh, oh, this is something that I'm excited about. Okay, so we also got HDMI cord, which is already handy, always handy. And then we got the, I believe this is kind of redesigned a little bit, the newer edition PS4 DualShock controllers. And I believe the only thing that's different is just the light bar is just a little bit different with the touchpad. Like there's a little light in the touchpad. We'll, we'll see that in a little bit, but that's how it looks. It's nice, it's pretty good. No complaints on my part. All right, let's get to the good, good. Oh man, this thing is, whoa. The best place to play. That better give me some free PlayStation Plus. Are you giving me that good PlayStation Plus? I don't know. Throw that over there. Is that it in here? Alright, taking a peek at this bad boy. Boom. Now this is pretty. I don't know, it's like if you took a pizza and laid another pizza on it. And the back there has uh, all the same plugs as the digital out, which I don't believe the Xbox One S has. Uh, got the LAN. Uh, only one. Wait, how many? Okay, so there's one USB in the front, or in the back, two in the front, and that is interesting. There's a huge bar for uh, on and off. That's kind of crazy. So, I say we plug this in and see this baby light up. The one thing that is different is it's way... Here, let me just show you. All right, here, this is a day one uh, PS4. As you can see, it's a little... It's been through a lot. Over here, you can see how it is, and then on the back, and everything. All right, let's see how this stacks up with the PS Pro. All right, here we go. As you can see, the PS4, I mean, that looks like an Egyptian half pyramid over there. But as you can see, that is exactly how big it is in size. And actually, that's kind of crazy. It's smaller. But you know what? I'm really excited to get this thing on and see the difference. I know that there's some games that uh, can roll, you know, 
uh, with insane settings such as, well, uh, <laughs> such as Battlefield. But I know that there's some games for like Titanfall 2 that have like certain um, upgrades or updates that will fit for this. But I'm curious about how games will look such as Destiny or games that really didn't get that update to roll with this. I'm wondering if like how they will look with the uh, forced, you know, uh, rendering options. So let's plug this guy in. So basically I have to install a bunch of programs on this and what I'm going to do is actually just show this off a little bit tomorrow um, with Destiny, see how it compares to if, like anything renders up scale or uh, how things look different between Battlefield 4 on PS4 and how it looks on PS4 Pro. So if you'd like to see that please let me know down in the comments below and yeah let's get this baby booted up and rolling. Alright guys until next time, Kawabunga!